Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's about 8 a.m. Stella's been watching videos while she lays on a paper, and Boo's been watching the videos with her. I put the crunchy machine out, and Stella has been, like, pressing the button a lot to get crunchies out. There's no crunchies in it. There's no crunchies in it, but I just heard her, like, pressing the button, pressing the button, pressing the button. She's so smart. Of course, now she just knocked it over because she's like, where's the damn crunchies? I should put some crunchies in there, but they're going to eat breakfast soon. See? See? She has it figured out. And she's expecting crunchies to come out. <laughs> she's going to press the button again, is she? I'll put a few crunches in there for her. It's about 2.45 p.m. right now. Stella's watching birds. She just woke up from her nap. Right, Stella? It's about 5.25 p.m. right now, and I found out that there's a few tractor supply stores in New Jersey. So I am heading to the one that's closest, which right now is about 30 minutes away. And I'm gonna see what they have. I'd like to pick up some more cat food, uh, the cans of cat food that Hydrox and Ditto like to eat, and actually Boo, he likes to eat them also when I put him a little bit of canned food in with his raw food and the prices there are really good for uh, healthy cat food so I'm taking a ride now there are some thunderstorms around here today I don't know if I'm gonna hit them or I'm gonna pass them but the, that's why the sky is kind of gray up ahead I've actually never been to this part of New Jersey before so it'll be a first for me so I'm 15 minutes away right now and there's some kind of park around here. There's a bunch of hiking signs and I passed two parking lots. I don't know what park this is, but I've been going up the hill and my ears have been popping. So I have to remember to look it up when I get back. This is Skyline Drive. So now it's raining, but it should just be a passing shower. I did check the weather before I left, and it was just like spotty thunderstorms. And I haven't seen any lightning or heard any thunder. 
so part of what I'm driving through is Ringwood State Park. I did not even know that existed, so I'm going to have to remember to uh, research it and look into it and see what's over there. There's a really big lake to my left. rain but the sun is shining like it's so bright but I don't see any rainbows where are the rainbows massive rainbow to my right wow I can't really look at it because I'm driving but look at this rainbow This is so crazy, I should be here. Is it in here? I don't know where it is. Yeah, here it is, I'm here, yay. Oh my, wow, look at this rainbow. Oh, wow. Look at this rainbow. This is incredible. Wow. So I had no plans on coming here today at all. It was just kind of like a whim this afternoon because I had some free time and I was like, okay, let me go take a ride and let me see if they have any cat food because I haven't been there before and I could use some. And look at this, look at this incredible rainbow. What are the chances? that I'm just gonna randomly be like, oh yeah, let me take a ride. And I get to witness this. That's phenomenal. It's a really strong one. I don't know what it looks like on the camera, but I could see every color from red to orange, to yellow, to green, to blue, to purple. That's so cool. I'm on my way back now and thankfully the weather has cleared up and it's really relaxing out here. It's a very different vibe than where I am so close to, to New York City. Um, this is definitely much more country out here and I'm not really spending a whole lot of time out here to like look around or anything um, because it is it's already 7 p.m. and um, things are closing early and it's getting late so um, it's been pretty cool though it's been interesting Look at this other rainbow. It's really vivid in real life. I don't know how it comes out on the camera. Check out that rainbow. It looks so spectacular in real life. I don't think it's translating as large and as colorful as it actually is on the camera. This is what the cases of cat food look like. We got three of these. It's actually half a case um, because it's like 12, usually cases like 24. Uh, it's six grain-free chicken and white fish dinner and six grain-free turkey and giblets dinner and these are the 5.5 ounce cans so this box has 12 cans in it. I got three of these so I got like 36 cans so that'll last a while. And then this is the bag with like all the other canned food that I got. Uh, I got like one of every variety. Actually some of them I might have got two of. Um, 
because some of it, some of them look more interesting than, than others. So I'll probably do uh, like taste test and review videos on all of those. And then these are the books that I got. So the first book, this is the first book that I saw and it looked really good. It's The Good Living Guide to Medicinal Tea, 50 Ways to Brew the Cure for What Ails You. And what I liked about this book was the simplicity of it. This is what it looks like inside. So on the left, you have what the tea is for. Then on the right, you have the recipe for the tea. And all the recipes are really simple. It's not like a bunch of crazy herbs you've never heard of. Um, then there's like detox tea, athletic performance and recovery, um, all different kinds, adrenal health, bone health, cancer treatment and prevention, hair and nail health, heart health, kidney health, lactation stimulation, liver health, memory, skin health. That's just some of them. There's like a lot more in here. And it also has a section about the individual herbs and it gives you information about the individual herbs. Now I have quite a few books about herbs um, already. I have a lot of older books about herbs, so I might already have a lot of this information in my herbal library, but I still like looking at it and getting new ideas and being inspired. So I got this one. And they also had this one called Amish Canning and Preserving, how to make soups, sauces, pickles, relishes, and more. Now I love soup, but I hate canned soup. I, I never buy soup in a can. I only like homemade soup. And I do have um, a hot water bath canner and I also have a pressure canner. And there were some really good recipes in here for soups that you can uh, can and preserve. There's also really great recipes in here for relishes. Like here's a zucchini relish, pickle relish, pepper relish, onion relish. I've made some relishes in the past and they came out so good. And um, then there's lots of recipes in here for pickles. We've made our own homemade pickles for years and years and years. I grew up eating homemade pickles. And there's all kinds of tomato sauces. And uh, one year I had so many tomatoes in the garden that I made so much sauce. I canned a whole bunch of sauce. And you make your own hot sauce. And just so many cool recipes in here. So I got this one. Then I also got this one, Rosemary Gladstar's Herbal Recipes for Vibrant Health. I really like Rosemary Gladstar's teachings. I've watched quite a few of her YouTube videos and I've checked out a lot of her articles and stuff like that. And this book has 175 teas, tonics, oils, salves, tinctures, and other natural remedies for the entire family. I was in a store last weekend and they sold little bottles of fire cider for $17 dollars and I picked them up and I was like they look really great um, the, the ingredients were all natural and I really wanted to try them I never had those before but I was like $17 you can make your own and Rosemary Gladstar is known for her recipes for fire cider um, which is basically like um, apple cider vinegar and horseradish it's just something that you take and it just kind of like opens all of your uh, detoxifying uh, organs like opens your sinuses and just gets everything gets everything moving I, and I looked through here and I thought I saw the recipe in here um, there's a lot of other good recipes in here too yeah here it is this is what I saw in the store fire cider zest a warming, energizing concoction fire cider zest is des is designed to light your fires. It can be added to salad dressings, used to flavor steamed veggies, and sprinkled on steamed grains. It's chopped ginseng root, grated ginger root, freshly grated horseradish, and garlic with cayenne pepper and apple cider vinegar and honey. To me, that sounds really good. I know for a lot of people it might sound um, not too good, but... Uh, yeah, so there's all kinds of awesome recipes in here. So I can't wait to uh, take a look at this and read the book. I don't have any books from Rosemary Gladstar. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, let me buy this. And um, I'll add it to my library. And then this is the big bag of dry cat food that I bought. It's for health, grain-free, white fish, pea, and potato formula for adult cats. It says real white fish is the number one ingredient. No corn, no wheat, no soy. 
uh, guaranteed probiotics for digestive support. And this is a 16 pound bag and it was about $22. I just gave Hydrox half of a can of the ocean fish food from Tractor Supply. Hopefully he'll go eat it. He's out on the patio. It's 8.42 p.m. I just came upstairs after feeding the cats downstairs and look at this. Hydrox just finished all of his food. I have a little bit of food left from the can, uh, so I'm going to give him the rest of it. But he really likes this food, so it's definitely worth the trip. And it's only 69 cents a can, so it's a really good deal. When you figure that, like, the low-end cat food, um, which is, you know, like, full of unnamed meat byproducts, is 50 cents a can, and this is 69 cents a can, and it's such better quality than your typical 50 cent a can cat food. Like, it's totally worth 20 more cents. Hydrox finished that whole can, and I just opened the can of the turkey and giblets uh, from Tractor Supply. And I'm, I gave him half of the turkey and giblets. Now I'm going to actually run out and go pick up some food for myself. And Boo is driving me crazy because he wants to eat this food also. He just had his dinner, and um, he had a little bit of it. He had like a tablespoon of it mixed into his food, but he still wants more, so... But I think a can and a half is good enough for Hydrox. It's 9 a.m. I opened the back door a few minutes ago. And I went outside. And Hydrox was laying on one of the patio chairs. And as soon as he saw me, he jumped down and he started meowing at me. So I've put a plate of food together for him. It's the Four Health turkey and giblets that I bought at Tractor Supply yesterday. I'm going to give this to him and uh, that'll be his breakfast. This is Hydrox's food and he likes to eat with the rocks. This is his favorite place to eat. Look at this. Look. He's like right next to me. He really likes this food. Okay, I'll go inside. I won't disturb you. And there's Hydrox eating his food. Meanwhile, this is going on inside. So the cats had their breakfast downstairs, and Boo did not finish his, so he likes to finish it up here. And that's what he's doing, and there's Simba. Simba is waiting for whatever Boo does not finish. Then Simba's going to swoop in and eat it. It's 3 p.m. Look at Simba. He's so cute. He just had a few dried fish. And he's been watching me. Except now he wants to show you his, his belly and his chin. What you doing, Sim Sims? What you doing? Show us how pretty you look today. No? No? Okay. It's 6.30 a.m. Good morning, Stella. You want me to turn the tablet on for you? Okay. Hello, Simba. Let me show you what Simba's been looking at. It's the Goose family. They're almost all grown up. Okay, Simba, you want to be brushed? I'll brush you too. You already got brushed. Oh no, Stella, it's powering off. It needs to be recharged. I have to recharge the tablet, Stella. It's about 1 p.m. right now, and look at what's going on here. Three cats on the bed. They completely take it over during the day.
And there's Boo Boo's on top of the cat tower. I have to go in the room and get something and I know it's gonna disturb all of them. I thought we could come outside and talk to Hydrax for a little bit. Hi, Drax, would you like some food? You want some food? Hi, Drax, you want some food? He's been laying underneath the house, so that's why he has some, some stuff stuck on him. Oh my gosh, he's pooping. What is he doing? I just gave him some food, and then I came out here to film him eating the food. He's pooping. Why is he pooping? First of all, that's a lot of poop. Those are big poops. You know, everyone told me that Hydrox did not poop on his welcome mat. He just pooped right here where he's eating. He just pooped. Is he sitting in it now? Oh my gosh, he's sitting in it? And Ditto just showed up. Ditto's still making those noises. I'm gonna give Ditto some food. Oh my gosh. I'm so grossed out right now. This is really gross, but this is what Hydrox just did, and this is what I now have to clean up. I'm gonna go get some gloves and paper towels and a plastic bag. And here's Ditto. I gave Ditto a half of a can of the Four Health Cat food from Tractor Supply. Except I opened the wrong can. I thought I opened the pate and I opened up the uh, chicken dinner instead. So I hope he eats it. This one has like the larger pieces. Right now he's just licking everything up. Both of these cats are very dirty right now. It did rain earlier. There's no crunchies in the dispenser. And Stella has figured out if she keeps her paw on it, it'll just keep going and going and going and she's waiting for something to come out. But there's nothing left. But that's how smart she is. It's empty, but she has her paw on the button. I was in the other room and I just heard the, the noise from it. She's watching centipedes on the tablet too. 
you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you. Fire!